real quick before I wait, that's not it's not gonna focus on me. Okay, I know I'm looking like a, a bandit, but listen. Um oh hi, hi guys. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am Shelly. Sorry, that is this little ensemble going on, but um thank you so much for clicking on this video, supporting my channel. Welcome back. If you're new, welcome. Happy to have you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. <sighs> okay, so I'm actually sitting in my car because I'm getting ready to go into court right now, but I'm, I just wanted to start the vlog real quick because this is going to be my birthday weekend vlog. My birthday is on Monday, January 10th. Today is January 7th. And I just wanted to do a full vlog of my weekend. So, yeah. Um, I'm getting ready to go into court. I'll tell you guys why I'm here and when I get back in my car. But I just wanted to start the vlog off before I went in there. Because there's no telling what my mood is going to be like when I come back out. But, um, yeah. So, about to go in here. Real quick, wish me luck. Hope these people aren't going to be petty. It's really a petty, petty case. So I'll see you guys once I get back in my car, but I just wanted to start the vlog off and say hi and welcome. And I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I'll see you guys in a little bit. I wonder if I should bring my camera with me because it is negative one degree outside right now and I don't want to... Leave it in the car. I'm sure they're gonna be like, girl, we don't care. Y'all, I'm free until March 15th. Back in the car, so now I could talk my sh Wait, is it even focused? No, it's not focused on me. I just pulled up at Starbucks and... All right, so let me tell you guys what happened. Let me tell you guys why I had court. So, a couple months ago, this looks really weird. Maybe that looks even weirder. So a couple months ago, I got pulled over by a small Caucasian state trooper. I don't know why the details of her appearance or what she looks like matters, but whatever, here we go. So she pulls me over and when she pulled me over, she came over to my car, she was like, and mind you, we were on the expressway. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of a setting, we were on the expressway where the speed limit is roughly about 70. It was a nice sunny day out. <laughs> whatever so she pulls me over we pull over onto the shoulder and she comes over to my car she goes do you know why I pulled you over so naturally I sit and I think okay I know I wasn't speeding Am my license suspended have I done anything in the last few months have I done anything in the last couple years that would make me a target to be pulled over um did I run a red light that I'm not aware of my I'm on the expressway so I mean I don't know how that would have happened I'm just thinking of all these things like okay what could I have done to be pulled over I don't have a warrant I haven't missed any court dates you know I was like no and she goes well I was riding on the side of you for about a minute and you didn't even turn to acknowledge me what ho? I was like Okay. And she was like, Well, I was writing on the side of you for about a minute and you didn't turn to acknowledge me. Again, I was like, Okay. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of context because if you're confused right now, just know so was I. So she goes, Well, you looked like you were arguing. Again. Okay, so she goes, can I see your license and insurance? Of course. I dig in my purse. I'm cautious. Cautious, because we know how these things can turn out. So I dig in my purse. I grab my insurance. I mean, I grab my license. And then I tell her, oh, my insurance is actually on my phone, but I can, I can pull it up for you. Like, I have, you know, I have it on the app. I could just pull it up for you. She goes, no, 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 it's fine. I'm going to go run your name. 
And then I'll be back. And when I come back, you can show me the insurance. Oh my God. Hold on, guys. This man is staring at me. Yes, sir. I am in here talking to myself. He's, <laughs> he's staring dead into my car. <laughs> See, this is why sit down videos are my thing. Because what? So anyway, so she goes to her car, she runs my name for about 10 minutes. And so what I did was, I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me, let me make sure I'm covering my bases. So I pull out my phone and I sit it in the cup holder. And I had it like, the, actually it was this way. So the camera was this way. Cause she, again, we're on the expressway. So she pulls me over and she pulls up to, she goes on to the passenger side. So I put the phone like this, sat it in the cup holder, turn the camera on, boom. There we go. So now I can record if anything transpires because we all know that they like to say that their little, what do you call that thing? Um, body cam wasn't working. So anyway, 10 minutes goes by. She comes back to the car and she's like, okay, here you go. So here's what I'm going to do. And she says it in a way that she gives off the impression like she's doing me a favor. So I'm like, okay, what's up? And she goes, okay, so I'm going to give you a ticket, but it's just a petty ticket. So it's my camera moving. Oh my God. Okay. So she's like, I'm, I'm going to give you a ticket, but it's just a petty ticket. Don't worry about it. You don't even have to go to court for it. All you have to do is just pay the fine and then you're good to go. And I go, okay, but what's the ticket for? Well, you were on your cell phone and you looked like you were arguing. I said, okay, am I not allowed to be on my phone? I had my AirPod in and I do like this to show her that I had my AirPod in. And she goes, well, you looked like you may have been on FaceTime. And I said, no, 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 no. I wasn't on FaceTime. I wasn't on anything. I was, I didn't even have my phone in my hand. I said, my GPS, I always have it on the screen in my car. I said, no, I didn't have my phone in my hand. I said, first you said it looked like I was arguing. Now you're saying that it looked like I was on FaceTime. Which one is it? And she goes, I'm not going to argue with you. This is a ticket. You don't need to, you don't need to go to court for it. Just pay the fine and you'll be fine. You don't have to. I said, no, I didn't do anything wrong. I literally had my AirPod in my ear. I'm allowed to be on the phone hands free. AirPod right here, hands on the steering wheel. I'm allowed to be hands free. Here's my theory. This is what I think happened. I think that she saw my mannerisms while I was on the phone, because I was on the phone. She saw my mannerisms, you know, while I was on the phone, because I talk with my hands. And she, because my windows are tinted, she thought that someone else may have been in the car with me. So she was, the reason why she probably rolled on the side of me for about a minute was to see, like, okay, was it, if there was someone else in here, if she could see if someone else was in the car with me and by me appearing to be aggressive, she just had to find out for herself because it's something to note is that she never checked my insurance. Now I feel like this, if you want to give somebody a petty ticket, as she called it, her words, not mine. If you want to give someone a petty ticket, a no insurance ticket is a petty ticket. So check a person's insurance. I mean, I have insurance, but check the insurance. But you chose to give me a cell phone ticket. And I'm someone, I pride myself in being honorable, especially in situations like this. Because if that were, I would have just paid the ticket. I would have just paid it. But no. No, sis. If I did it, or if I was guilty of it, I would just pay it and be done with it. Not drag myself into court for this this is so petty but it's just the simple fact that she never even checked my insurance when she came back to the car and then handed me the ticket and kept putting emphasis on you don't even need to go to court for this just pay the fine just pay the fine like nah i'm not doing that you got the right one so i pled not guilty they set a trial date that's it's so comical a trial date for a cell phone ticket but yes they set a trial date so so i have to go to trial in March and I just can't wait until we get to court and hopefully she has the body cam footage I cannot wait because the thing is right once she realized that I was recording her with you know the phone in the cup holder Once she realized that I was recording her she kept cutting me off because I kept saying well, I'm hands I was hands free I was like, she's like, I'm not going to argue with you. That's what she ended up. That's how she ended it. Like, I'm not going to argue with you. Cause I was like, I'm, I was hands free. I said, I have my AirPod in. I'm not breaking any laws by law. You can have one headphone in. So I only had one in. So 
no you're not about to do that we're not no you're not about to no this is not no i'm not agreeing to it no so yeah here we are <laughs> your girl had to go to court they tried to hold a real one down but i ain't gonna let them perfect way to start off the birthday weekend right all right anyway because my camera keeps overheating so it's not trying to let me be great but i'm about to head over to the mall because the place that i ordered my birthday like something to wear for my birthday since my friends are surprising me tomorrow i just ordered something quick um last weekend and due to covid the shipping was delayed so it says that it's not going to be there until monday which is my actual birthday which is too late so i'm about to head to the mall so i can find something to wear again perfect way to start the birthday weekend off anyway thanking god for another year and i'm gonna see you guys once we get to the store <laughs> all right so i'm still in the mall not much luck but i'm in nordstrom i'm in nordstrom and i'm trying to find something y'all i was like pulling i was like lifting my um trying to lift my purse up like the strap was like sliding tipped my whole cup of coffee over on myself <laughs> and it spilled like right on my titties like breast milk oh these are cute so yeah it looked like my boobs were leaking and um haven't had that issue in many many years these are some cute basics I've never heard of BP. I don't know what that is. Um, anyway, I'm gonna stop vlogging now because they're playing music and I don't want to get copywritten. But I just wanted to update you guys. I haven't found shit. new lighting in my house for one second on camera it's so flattering it just looks so much better i looked up the benefits and everything of having brighter lights in your house it's supposed to help like boost your mood it's supposed to help with creativity there are other benefits that are on there but i can't remember but it's pretty much like the same effect of like being outside basically but anyway i came home because my daughter is gonna get off the bus soon so I want to be here obviously when she gets home and then I'm gonna go to Walmart today is my uncle's birthday so or one of my uncle's birthday and he is the absolute best my uncles you guys are just the best they have always been a part of my life or a huge part of my life my dad wasn't always active in my life and my uncles just really stepped up to the plate and played such a major role and have been such a great influence in my life. So one of my uncles, today is his birthday. He and I are super, super tight. Um, my birthday, like our birthdays are so close. It makes perfect sense. He's a Capricorn. I'm a Capricorn. So yeah, it's my dog. But today is his birthday. So I'm going to go to the store. And at first I was going to buy him a cake, but my daughter you know she thinks that she's betty crocker around here she's always loving to bake stuff so i'm gonna let her bake him a cake or at least bake him some cupcakes and we'll sing happy birthday to him i was gonna get him a gift card but i low-key might just put the money in there he might appreciate the money more so or 
not that he needs it but i'm just saying you know some people they would rather it's like you're gonna give me a gift card to a store that i'm probably not gonna go to or or waste the money on getting him like a visa gift card my mom said i should get him a visa gift card but i could just give him the cash and he can spend it where he wants to or how he wants to i don't know same with the visa gift card though right yeah i don't know maybe i'll just get the visa gift card but yeah so i'm gonna go get him a gift card and then uh, what else? maybe get him a couple balloons and then i'm gonna come home we're gonna do that i told them to just come over to my house we'll sing happy birthday to him and then i have to do my hair because this wig is lifting i'm gonna try on the things that i got from zara i'll show you guys what i picked up today i just grabbed a couple things from naked wardrobe and then got some stuff from zara so i will show you guys what i got um probably once I guess I could try this stuff on right now. I kind of want to wash my hands before I try on some clothes, you know. So maybe I'll show you guys. I'll just show you guys. I won't try this stuff on. Okay, so give me a second. Let me go pee, and then we'll go in my room. There's a meeting in my bedroom. All right. So here, I know that's what he had when I was chasing him, trying to get it from him. Okay. So uh, here is a bodysuit that I got from Naked Wardrobe. This is probably what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Um, yeah, bodysuit from Naked Wardrobe. It's a spaghetti strap. And I don't know how to, it's just, well, let me see, where is the picture? I'll show you the picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. Um, and then, and then I got this, like, I don't know, what do they call this? I don't know what this is called, but it's like, um, I guess modern day shawl. I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent. Don't quote me on that. see what i got from zara i got all black stuff i didn't even realize i got all black um so i got this turtleneck you guys zara has their sale going on right now so here's this turtleneck plain turtleneck just need that for my closet and then i got this really cute top from zara you know what let me try this one and i'll show you guys all right, I just want to say that this top is not giving what I thought it was going to give. Like, one thing about being tall, having long limbs, this type of stuff doesn't work. Like, it's, it's flooding. I don't know if you can even... Look at that. Like... I don't know why I thought that this was going to be like a little more balloon like with the sleeves, but that's not, <laughs> it's not what's happening here. It's, it's going to have to go back. I'm going to have to return that because I don't even like that. Like I like for my sleeves to kind of like overflow or if that's even the right word to use, but I like when my sleeves are just a little more give me a little more length because I do have long arms same with my legs I like for my jeans to whenever well not all the time but sometimes um a good pair of jeans to me are just jeans that are really long because I have long legs anyway yeah so this is gonna go back this is sad though I thought this top would be a good addition to my closet but this isn't it's not, just not giving so yeah, back to the store it goes. All right, so one of the things that I also got from Zara today was this beanie. I got this beanie in this like taupe shade and I also got it in black because let me tell y'all something. It is brick outside. Like Chicago went from 30 to like negative two, just like that. So it's cold outside. So I have... And then I changed my clothes too because I wanted to see what it looked like together because it just wasn't looking right. I just, I wasn't impressed with how it looked initially when I first put it on, but now it's cute. I like it. Um, 
especially with my hair like this it looks it looks cute so yeah i also got this in black but i want to show you guys this shoe all right so get this look at this shoe that i picked up from zara so cute it's the heel the heel is what i like the most it's that skinny but not too thin heel the pointy toe is in right now super sexy and i love the mesh the mesh material it just looks it looks so good so cannot wait to wear these bad boys so here's the black beanie that i got from zara that i was just telling you guys about super cute of course i had to i had to get the tan color and a black because i'm always in black as you guys can see i just bought a bunch of black <laughs> for my closet i just love wearing black especially in the winter time in the winter time it's my go-to so yeah got the black beanie this one i think these were like 20 bucks honestly too much for a beanie in my opinion but okay here we are anyway i'm about to run to the store real quick so i can go pick up the stuff for my uncle and then i'll see you guys once i make it back all okay, right so i'm in walmart and i'm trying to find some lashes last minute i know no i sell lashes yet i have to come and find some but it's only because a i don't have any like in stock yet and b i wouldn't even cut the ones I wouldn't even use the ones that I have because I have to cut them. So I wanna I just need some that I can use at the end because my lash extensions are falling out. So I'm trying to find some that are worth it. And these are like the only ones that I've come across that seem like they will be worth it. So, I'm gonna get these. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day in my birthday vlog. I'm sitting down, getting ready to film right now. I'm gonna film my birthday look. It's not gonna be anything spectacular. I'm literally just gonna pull myself together because I don't really wanna do too much, but I wanna do something, you know? So that's what I'm about to do right now. So you guys will see that video before you see this one. So be sure to check that out. Um, if you haven't seen it already, be sure to check that out. I'll link it. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I'm about to get started with filming. Let me, um... All right, guys. So I'm on my way to Monia's house. I'm riding with her because they don't want me to know where we're going. So, y'all, I am... Um... So it's 22 degrees, so it's not as bad as it was yesterday and the day before that, but it's still cold. But I'm just wearing my Zara puffer. I'll try to show you guys what I'm like my actual outfit once I stop somewhere. But I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you let you know that I'm done um, filming and I like pushed it to the limit. So I did really good on time today i could have been a little bit better but i did much better than i thought i would so yay me she's creating my wait alexa pause it look at monia she's creating the shield for me not to see where we're going and look at this thing she's like taping it up oh, shit. monia i cannot You're doing good though. I'm definitely not gonna be able to see. I think that's cool. Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me see. <laughs> oh yeah. Can't see through this. <laughs> <laughs> the Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> oh. So, okay y'all, I'm about to try on the shield. Monia! Can you see? Okay. Okay, you only need to have it on me for like five minutes. So you should be fine. Okay, so then can I take my glasses off? But it's not going to stay if you take your glasses off. Oh, because it doesn't have the nose thing. Yeah. Is okay. It, is it gonna, you feel like it's going to make you, you mess up your makeup? No, it's just like leaning down on my glasses. So like I could just hold it like this. Unless you want me to tape it on your glasses. Monique, well, yeah, you, can, you can go to hell. <laughs> 
you can go to hell. I'm not. But it's fine if it's like this though. Like. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm fine. Oop. Let's hope we ain't got no spillage going on. Okay. You can even see me. Ready? Hey, better. Get yourself in order on period. Can you see us? Did you flip the screen up? Yep, I sure did. Mania. And the place is in front? <laughs> yep. Oh, so I can't take this. <laughs> Hi, vlog. <laughs> gotta put your <laughs> let me get your mask out of my purse so that when when you do take it off when we get in there i have a mask right there waiting for you okay okay wait wait oh i gotta guide you i'm sorry monia this right here be careful slow steps <laughs> slow steps <laughs> what the hell this shield i can very slow steps okay step up Watch out for the pole. Yes. One second. Let me open the door. Okay. <laughs> wait. Wait. Come. Close the door. Okay. Okay. One. Wait. Stay right here. Don't remove the shield. Let me get a good view. Hold on. Okay. Open it. Take it off. Take it off, girl. <laughs> Drop your pan panties off. <laughs> That's why she hated it. We always hate what we love. <laughs> I hate you, nigga. I got diamonds Just that 
Step on myself for 10 and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep this shit If I catch you not it off, then it's gon' be some shit What you can do, what you wanna Hey, let's go ahead and y'all some bougie girls. All the hard liquor's still there, but everybody drinking the Bella. You know what? I, I gave up hard liquor this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
self love because she's she's in the memo line. She put always putting me first. Period. Okay. Always doing me. Niggas ain't shit. Excuse me. B Y D B. Been doing me. I gotta go. What's up? It's the next day, and I know I kind of abruptly ended the video yesterday, but I wanted to tap in today because we are getting ready to go to the mall. I'm gonna go get my birthday gifts. I told my friends that I really wanted this perfume from, from um, Nordstrom. Let me put some here. Oh, shoot. I gotta get this lip off my hand. But I told my friends that I really wanted to get this perfume from Nordstrom. And they all gave me a bunch of gift cards. So that I could get, so that I could get the perfume. So I'm about to go get it, and then I have to take something back from Zara from my trip to the mall yesterday. So I figured I could kill two birds with one stone. And then I also got some Sephora ones, so I might stop in there also to get some stuff that I don't even need, honestly. Oh my eye. I'm just wearing this turtleneck that I got from Zara yesterday. The neck on this is super tight. Do not recommend. I would definitely take this back if I wasn't, if I didn't already rip the tag off. Because I do not like this. This is uncomfortable. So I'm going to keep pulling on it so I can stretch it out just a little bit. I hate that. Super tight neck on the turtleneck. These... Glasses won't be worn, but if this outfit was during the day, child definitely would put these on. Um, I want to show you guys this weekly self-care journal that Monia, my friend Monia, gave me yesterday for my birthday. I am going to use this. Oh my god, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Tomorrow's Monday, which is my actual birthday, so I'm going to start using it tomorrow i've been using a different journal that i recently picked up um a little bit before the new year but you can never have too many in my opinion so oh my god you guys I'm like, never had a shirt choke me the hell anyway about to head out of here oh did i ever show you guys my candle i'm not sure if i ever showed you guys but y'all it smells look at first of all i put like little flowers and stuff in it it smells so good. It's so me. I have to wait like another day or two before I can use it. But it smells so good. Anyway, let's go. Let's head out because it's getting late and I think the mall closes in about an hour and a half. So we got a little bit of time. So let's go. Look at this ice. The snow is iced over. This is insane. Like, what the hell? Oh Y'all would not believe what just happened to me. Baby, Nordstrom is closed. Your girl was a little too little too late. Since I have a dinner reservation for tomorrow at the other mall I'm just gonna wait and go there hopefully they have hold on let me make sure they have it in stock because that would suck if I did all that for no reason so they do have it available at the other location and then they also have a Zara there so I could take I could take this back tomorrow but the way this ice is set up today I could go in Zara why does it look like that it's so weird I could go in Zara right now but the way that this ice is set up out here the this mall out of be shame because there is no reason why it should be like this. So I'm about to go home and edit so that I can have my video up and ready for you guys for tomorrow. Not this one. As you're watching this, it's probably much later in the week. I'm, right. <laughs> um, I'm going to try to get up three. No, I am. I'm going to get up three videos for you guys this week. So I'm going to do... The vlog that I was doing this week, which was, what vlog was I? Oh my god. My videos are all over the place, you guys. I have so much 
content, so many things that I've been filming since November that I never uploaded. And honestly, I had to be shamed, but you know, life happens. I was going through some things and um, I'm bouncing back right now. But anyway, so tomorrow, so I'm going to bring you guys into tomorrow because I, like I said, I have a didn't. Like I said, I have a dinner reservation and I really want to bring you guys along for that because that is that it's my birthday. So I want you guys to hang out with me for my birthday. I mean, we're all friends here. So why not? We just spend birthdays together. So I'm going to bring you guys with me. I'm just I just made a reservation at Restoration Hardware, the rooftop. So I made a reservation for two, but I feel like I should do three because or maybe I should just do four if they have. Let me see if they have four available. Just in case anyone else wants to join. Yeah, I really hope this vlog isn't like super, super long. But i really been enjoying vlogging more because it's like my little diary. I'm like documenting little things. And I don't know, I just love watching the footage back. And yeah, I'm super talkative. So I'm going to go ahead and head home. I'm going to slide home, I guess. God, that's ridiculous. By the grace of God, I make it home safe and in one piece because the way that Chicago, um, I, I see black ice, whatever is set up today. And we're back home. Let me take these heels off. My makeup turned out really nice today. I've been loving this like grown and sexy, grown and sexy look. I've been feeling real cute lately. I think it has a lot to do with what I have and have not been consuming as far as food goes. But I really want some water, so. All right, I will see you guys in a little while. Um, or probably tomorrow, because I don't really have anything else like exciting to really show y'all and talk about. Um. This damn turtleneck. It's like. <laughs> Just... Hello, everybody. It's officially my birthday. So happy birthday to me. I just actually uploaded a video. So of my like birthday glam from the other day when I went out with my friends so I'm about to get ready and head to the store and then I'm gonna go to dinner my reservation is in like an hour and a half so I'm gonna go eat but I'm gonna go to the mall so that I can pick up my birthday gift it's just a perfume that I've been wanting <laughs> that I haven't really wanted to spend my own money on so I don't know this birthday just feels not like a birthday but I know it's my birthday because of the amount of love that everyone is showing me and I'm so grateful and thank you guys so much all of you who commented on my video and even on the post on the community tab on my Instagram DM'd me Facebook Snapchat so many people on Snapchat um, have been wishing me a happy birthday and I'm so grateful so thank you guys so much for showing me so much love but I'm about to get ready and get out of here. I just put on this turtleneck that I had on yesterday since I didn't really go anywhere. And then I did my laundry with my darks. So I washed it. And then I'm like, okay, I'll just put it back on. No one saw me. And then I just have on these, I don't know if you guys can see them. OOTD black jeans from like, I don't know, Fashion Nova or something. And then my heels, this by the way, you can see them. They are from Zara bag is just my Gucci bag because I'm lazy and don't feel like switching everything over to my Louis Vuitton bag. So sunglasses, Amazon. Anyway, let's go. I'll see you guys once I make it. Hey y'all. Me and Muff are freezing our asses it's off. So About to go into restoration hardware. Going to the rooftop for the restaurant. You guys, if you've been watching my vlogs, then I'm sure you've seen when I went here on the day when I took myself on the date. So I felt like it was only fitting to come this back for my so birthday. Pretty. But look at how pretty it looks at night. Oh, let me get it. Let me get the B-roll footage.
sweet lobster roll here. Lobster roll. It's so good. Isn't it so good? Yeah, it is so good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. When I when I first in the truffle fries, did you have those? Roll. The ribeye on the garlic bread sounds good too. You guys, look at the ambiance at night. You guys saw it during the day, but at night it's so much better. Fries as well. They are big enough to share. Sure. Just three nuts. It's so nice in here. I need to get some footage from my Instagram stories. But, y'all, I did not bring my tripod in here. So, we're going to use this little fork thing to sit the camera upright. Alright. So, you smell jazz pop before, right? Yeah, I smelled it when and I was just with you. It just smells so good. You know what smells like fruity pebbles to me? The this one. Love don't be shy. It smells like fruity pebbles. Doesn't it? It doesn't smell like fruity pebbles. It's crazy because I always eat like fruity pebbles smell like perfume. Really? I've and that, that smells like fruity pebbles to me. Okay, what? So y'all, I know I cannot wait to eat. Oh my god. I've been vlogging for the past week. It's been crazy. I've been really trying to ensure that I get enough footage and really just hang out with y'all because I'm just glad Mondays are my office. How Monday. close you are. I didn't expect you to scoot in this <laughs> On a date. This definitely looks like a date. Is that a straw? Yeah. It's so weird that we literally dressed the same today. Yeah. And we did not know. Oh, turn the camera on. Does, does anyone else drink sparkling water? Because I need to know that I'm not the only one who does not like sparkling water. This is this is not good. This is nasty. Y'all drink that? Let me know. Because I'm judging. Let me know how much the bill is. going to send the money. Okay. Y'all, let me know which one of y'all drinks. Sam Pellegrino, sparkly water, so I know who to judge because that is so nice. I don't like pop. <laughs> and then who would want flavorless pop? If I'm gonna drink pop, I want it to taste like some lime to it. That's why you like it. Okay, it makes sense. Cause no, no, it's not doing it for me. <laughs> All right, you guys, so I got the lobster sandwich. Y'all know the lobster roll is one of my favorites. I always get it everywhere I go. And then I got the truffle fries. Or we both, we're going to share them because it's, as you can say, a big bowl of them. And then Muff got the steak sandwich, but what is it? Is it just... It's like ribeye The ribeye steak sandwich. And then we both got a glass of... Peach bellini. The peach bellini. I think it was the... Or it's the Restoration Hardware Bellini, but it's peach puree. So we both got a glass of that. I'm about to slam. This is Muff's first time here, so. <laughs> yeah, about to eat. Hey, wait. Y'all, they brought me a cookie with a candle. How sweet. 
Happy birthday to me. <laughs> I'm back home, as you guys can see. And I'm now officially at the end of the day on my birthday, which means that we have come to the end of this vlog. I just want to take a moment to reflect on my birthday weekend. So you guys know, I told you guys, I didn't really want to do anything, but um, my friends ended up doing something for me and that was so special and I'm so grateful and so thankful. And again, I just want to thank all of you for all of your birthday love that you showed me and the comments and everything that you guys left on my video and my picture I or on my post on the community tab. I'm so, so thankful. It means so much to me that you guys even took the time out to acknowledge and just wish me a happy birthday. I mean, so, so much. This year, I feel like is off to such a great start. It's such an interesting start because things are just so different. I'm just really curious to see how things are going to pan out for me this year. I really, really want to do a lot more um, soul searching this year because I really just want to, or just in general, not even just this year, but in general, I want to do a lot more soul searching. I feel like I never want to like face my problems like head on. I always try to push things under the rug because I'm such a people pleaser. I find that I try to sweep things under the rug and then later on years years and years down the line i blow up and or there's like a huge blow up and then all of these feelings that i sort of like push down inside of me come up again and it's been so much that's been going on in my life and like my relationships with family members or my dating life like all of that it's just been so much that's been going on and i really just want to move past so many things that I feel like have been bottled and pushed down inside of me for so long that I never wanted to address because I'm just like, I don't know, I'm just not a confrontational person. I hate having to deal with deep feelings and things like that. I just, I'm always just like, whatever. Like I would rather not deal with it, but that's not a good way to be because that's how you create traumas and, or that's how traumas are created and formed. and not addressing them is the reason why people suffer for so many years and i just don't want that to be my issue so from now on that is what i'm gonna make sure that i do is just you know address things and move on from it let go and let god i don't know that's one of the things that i've been thinking about so much this year and even just today i was thinking about it a lot and i'm just like I don't know things are just different the last few holidays that passed were even just different for me everything was just different it was different and i know that COVID played a major role and i'm not mad i'm not like bitter or anything about it but i just because everything felt so different and and i haven't felt like this in a long time i haven't felt like the feelings of loneliness but I feel like around the holidays like i spent so much time alone during the holidays that i felt very lonely and it was by choice yeah it was but there was like a reason why like i chose to be alone because i don't want to have to deal with confrontation so i would rather be alone and spend my time alone and not around other people i don't know i feel like bring chaos in my life i don't know it's just it's a lot and it may sound very vague right now and it may not make a lot of sense but i've struggled a lot em emotionally and mentally for so many years and I never dealt with my past traumas and I brought those traumas into like you know my relationships and stuff and I tried to I tried to deal with it while I was in a relationship and this is even with like my previous relationships like I wasn't really aware that I was dealing with past trauma then my relationship suffered or I struggled with trying to be in a relationship knowing that I was dealing with so much internally. And it's really hard for people to understand you when you are going through something and you're, you know, just evolving as an individual when they're not, you know, on that same journey that you're on. So 
I've been spending so much time alone and I'm starting to get a little bit comfortable with being by myself. So much so to the point where I don't even want to be around a lot of people. That's how I know that I'm just evolving as a woman. I'm stepping into my power. I'm becoming the woman that I'm supposed to be because I find myself drifting away from so many things and so many people that I once felt like would be in my life forever. And you know, so many of the relationships that I had with people are just different. And I just know that so much is about to change. And I love the fact that I'm documenting it with you guys and you guys are watching because so much is about to change in my life. I'm about to just embark on this journey I don't know kind of like my 30 something journey I don't know if I should even make this into like a series but I'm just finding myself wanting something new because I want something new so bad everything around me is it's almost like all the weight of everything else and everyone else is falling off of me so that I can prepare for this new journey that I'm about to embark on and I'm so excited for it. I'm terrified, but I'm excited for it because I just want to see and I can't wait to see this person that I am. I can't wait to see this this woman that I am becoming. The woman that I am right now, she's okay. She's She has her moments. But the woman that I'm becoming is fearless and she is adventurous and she is just prepared to take on the world. I feel like I've been suppressing my who I'm supposed to be, like my true self. I've been like pushing that down inside of me just out of fear of people seeing the vulnerable side of me and just seeing all that I am. And I don't want to live a life like that anymore. And I remember I was having a conversation even with one of my family members. I won't say who, but I was having a conversation with one of my family members and I was just like, man, I really want to tell my story about this and I really want to tell my story about that and I feel like it will really help so many people. And yeah, I know people like drama and I know they like to be nosy. I feel like all of us just have that nosy streak in us where we can't help ourselves. But so what? You know, we're human. If we want to be nosy, let us be nosy. It is what it is. And I just remember that family member being like, why would you do that? Why would you, why would you tell that? Why would you? It's like you know, sort of like projecting their fears onto me and their insecurities onto me. But I feel like I don't mind being open and just showing who I am because I mean, people judge me without even knowing anything about me. So, and I never cared about it. I never cared. So why would I care now? Like, why would I not want to share who I am? And the journey is the beautiful part. The once I come out on the other side is when we can all celebrate. But watching me maneuver through life and even for myself to go back and see what I came from and what, you know, just what I used to do and what I used to look like and what I used to talk about and just everything about myself. Just watching myself go through all that I have gone through. I wish that I had a vlog camera back when I was 15, 16 years old because that would have been <laughs> such an interesting thing to, to see. I'm just asking God to remove all things that do not align with the woman that I am becoming. So with that said, I'm gonna write in this journal. I'm gonna do a little bit of reading. I'm gonna write in my planner also. I think I might vlog tomorrow and just bring you guys along for that. Um, but this vlog is ending. This is the end of my birthday weekend vlog. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in today's or in this weekend vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me in this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel. I have so much more content coming for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the post notifications, and leave me some beautiful comments down in the comment section below. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.